This is BTS, yeah. ARMY. Yes, we're doing an ARMY introduction video by X Celeste, and um, apparently that is a really good video. She makes amazing videos anyway. It's only um, a month old. And this is, a lot of, a lot of you guys very, said, like, react to this. She's very popular, very, very well known within the ARMY but yeah, community. Yeah, but we love our videos, we've seen a yeah, few yeah. of them, and um, she makes amazing videos. So we are reacting to the ARMY introduction video, which I'm excited about, because of course we know a lot of ARMY already thanks to our channel a lot of amazing people yeah. and so we are very excited to see how she made the video let's go <laughs> Hey, I'm Dennis. I'm Tim. I'm Dutch. I'm German. And that is what you get here on our channel, Dutch and German down to earth genuine reactions. Well, if you like that kind of style of reacting, hit the subscribe button right now. Push the bell notification as well. So you won't miss any of our BTS content here on the channel, right? And of course we have right. more. There is like a, so we have playlists, but we're on social media as well. We're on we Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. We're on, it's on the channel uh, somewhere here. And we have a, Instagram page as well. We even have a Spotify playlist. A Spotify playlist. And we have a Patreon if you want to support us. That would be amazing. Well, for now, let's get this introduction going. And see. Purple Hub Project. The BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. Who is the BTS Army? ARMY was officially established for BTS on July 9, 2013. The meaning of a military army is implied, tying in with the name of BTS, which stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan, or Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. ARMY is an acronym for Adorable Representative MC for Youth. I didn't know that. No. I <laughs> thought it was ARMY was like for MC. army like the, we are the army we are fighting for bts we are helping them we're standing up for them we are uh, supporting them so i didn't know what is mc um it's an mc it's like this uh, like the one that speaks like an, an mc at the in at an event MC or, uh, yeah exactly it's <laughs> like a, it's like a dj kind of not like a dj but like an mc like dj the mc version of a dj yeah. like the, the speaker of the so a representative for you adorable, adorable. <laughs> Is that, now that we are ARMY as well, are we then adorable as well? Maybe. Ooh, I like that. Given to them in hopes that they will raise their voices and stand with BTS in support of the underrepresented values they often address in their work. Hmm. Armies in its early conception and demographic spoke for the youth walking alongside BTS to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations imposed on adolescents actively working to defend and preserve the value and ideals of today's youth. Mm. Well, th well, that is what BTS stands for anyway, so it's awesome that, that the army is, it was there to do that as well, to help enforce that, uh, their message. I think so. Yeah. While what initially draws in new fans may be their talent and their catchy melodies, many grow into dedicated armies due to BTS's core values, missions, and social messages which have been magnets for the diversity of the fandom. BTS is adamant on their stances against bullying, abuse, and the current socioeconomic norms. They seek to empower youth and women, promoting mental health, self-love, and self-development. They have inspired many fans to better themselves and be active in fighting against social injustices. Armies started small, but passionate, much like BTS. However, one stereotype that incessantly follows the fandom is that of screaming hormonal teenage girls. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we know that already that that's not true. No. Like, like here on our channel, we have such a diversity of fans or of army members uh, joining our stuff for family, which is amazing. That all over the world, all genders, age groups, everything. everything. And of course, like. 
when you are popular idol like they are you will have a teenage fan base that is screaming when they see you because that's their excitement that's their way of expressing i mean that's 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 what happened to a lot of it idols for, for not for centuries but for decades so yeah i mean that's not yeah. new but of course it's a stereotype that you would have i can i can understand that but yeah yeah we definitely know that's not true while amazing young folks are indeed a part of army and there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a young or passionate person. Exactly. Statistics mm. prove that BTS reaches far beyond its expected demographics. Take a look at this age demographic. Yeah, we've 24 seen this. 24% yeah. are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 25% are 40 years old and over. Here's a graph from Reuters who compiled the web traffic for 2020 Map of the Soul tour tickets. Females ages 25 and up made up 46% of web traffic, while 31% were males. Armies hail from different countries, backgrounds, ethnicities, ages, creed, and gender. I think it is important to note that there are passionate fans in almost all disciplines and subcultures, most notably mm -hmm. in the sports world. I do often wonder why it's socially acceptable for boys and men to show their undying love and support for something they're fanatic about. Yet, girls and women are so often belittled for their enthusiasm. Yeah. To help you yeah. visualize, take a look at this graph from Research BTS, showing similarities and differences between sport fans and boy band fans. Also, note that older fans often have more disposable income. That helps them afford the band's merchandise and concert tickets and creates an advertising market for the products the band promotes to older consumers, including Samsung phones and Hyundai cars. Their dedication, passion and organization has helped us... I think it's very nice that she, um, that, that she uses that in this video as well because it's so true. There's yeah. always a difference. If it's a young girl screaming, then she gets like blamed or she gets shamed or whatever. But if it's a, a grown-up man in a football stadium screaming just as loudly or or just as insanely crying, even, crying and things, each other and whatever. which is also fine if you're enthusiastic for sport well, but, but the, what is, what the, is difference? the difference exactly what yeah. is the difference it's very nice that she i wasn't expecting this video to go into yeah, it's very about nice that, that so i she, like that uh, yeah also discussed that part yeah it? i was expecting more about yeah. the what so i love this i love this part of the video already yeah. support bts through a myriad of paths enabling BTS and armies to achieve incredible results such as getting BTS's single Dynamite to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and staying in the top spot for two consecutive weeks. Only 44 songs in the chart's history have debuted at number one mm. and only 20 of those songs remained on the top for a wow. second consecutive week. Mm. With the success of Dynamite, BTS was recognized by the Recording Academy for their music for the first time, securing them a Grammy nomination for the best pop duo group performance, making them the first Korean pop act to ever be nominated under this category. Since then, BTS has achieved three number one debuts on the Billboard Hot 100, with the most recent one being Life Goes On. Unlike their single Dynamite, which was sung in English, Life Goes On was sung in mostly Korean. Mm -hmm. The day Dynamite dropped, it had a total of 1,700 spins on the US radio, while Life Goes On only had six total spins on US radio. This made Crazy. debuting Life Goes On at number one even more impressive, yeah. not only because of language, but because radio airplay accounts for a large portion of the Hot 100 scores. With the release of Life Goes On and the new album B, BTS topped multiple charts on its release week. Each achievement on this non-exhaustive list is remarkable in its own right. But the true marvel of Life Goes On is this. A largely Korean language song debuted at number one yeah. on the Billboard that Hot is, 100 that's crazy. That's crazy. with virtually no radio play, no remixes, and no bundles. 
Mm. The song Stratosphere yeah. debut Army. offers unimpeachable proof of BTS's popularity and the dedication of their fans. Mm. Together, they have subverted a Western music industry whose archaic practices are often rooted in racism and xenophobia and redefined what a Korean pop act can achieve on the US charts. Definitely. The most tedere chocolate. But it's so true, it's so Milk. true. Mm. Mm. And that is very also important because that will help spread their message even further. ARMY has also helped BTS set historical records such as the Beatles' 52-year record, Bee Gees' 42-year record, Michael Jackson's 36-year record, Celine Dion's 24-year record, Adele's 5-year record, and more. BTS has sold out multiple stadiums mm. around the mm -hmm. world, including two nights at the Wembley Stadium in London, which holds 90,000 people. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. And the crazy. concert sold out in just 90 minutes, making BTS the 12th artist to ever sell out the legendary Wembley Stadium. During a time when streaming numbers have increased, and traditional album sales have decreased, BTS holds the records for the best-selling physical album of the year and the only act to sell over 500,000 copies in the United States. Crazy. The album Map of the Soul 7 has sold over 4 million we love that copies album. Mm. worldwide. In 2019, BTS were chosen as endorsement models for Hyundai's Palisade SUV. Hyundai estimated sales to be around 25,000, but had already received 52,000 <laughs> orders weeks after its announcement, <laughs> and the numbers kept Crazy. growing. Yeah. The demand for the Palisade skyrocketed so rapidly, Hyundai struggled to keep up with demands and was backlogged by 6 to 10 <laughs> months. In 2020, BTS endorsed luxury massage chair brand Bodyfriend. Their sales increased by 46% from the previous year. Crazy. Mm. In short, ARMY sell out everything the members touch. Unsurprisingly, their purchase power... Should we hire BTS for our channel now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already have a lot of ARMY supporting us, which is amazing. So it's ARMY power to our channel as well. But I apparently mean, everything they touch turns to gold. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's true. Crazy. It's true. So if you're an army and you want to help your stuff for family, then please support our channel and spread our channel. Spread it to your army friends. Because there's like forums and, and pages and everything where you can spread our channel and Groups, help. Communities. Or Twitter. We are very bad at Twitter, right? Yeah. We don't get And I still don't really get it completely and I also don't really like it. So that's very I like it, but I'm I don't have the time to properly do Twitter for our yeah. for our thing. So if you are a Twitter huge Twitter fan and you want to help us out, send us a message on Instagram. And maybe we can like, I don't know, we can like work together or something. I don't know. Just brainstorming here with you guys. But yeah, it's amazing. The power of ARMY. But for us, the power of ARMY is the, the, the friendliness. Mm -hmm. We have so many nice people on our channel that are commenting all the time. And we never, ever get a bad comment. While if we do other artists, not necessarily in K-pop, uh, but in other genres... There's a lot of people that are very negative, yeah. and that's okay because you have your opinion. But uh, I think res being respectful is very important, and I think Army is so hugely respectful. At least here, are the Army people that we know here on our channel. So thank yes. you so much for that. It's amazing. Our goes beyond BTS merchandise. The fandom once sold out fabric softener and wine. <laughs> BTS themselves are charitable and are aware of their power and influence. Yes. They have been leading by example. Armies never straying far from BTS's actions have also taken to show their love and support towards all seven of the members, but also towards each other and the world around us. While they sell out stadiums and set and break records in the music industry, they've also nurtured a strong and loving community. On Twitter, crops of accounts unusual within a music fandom have been cultivated, such as BTS Army Medical Union, mm -hmm. an account made by pre-med medical students and health professional fans who sought to make learning about medical science fun and accessible. Awesome. Oh, accounts really awesome. like BTS Army Bar Association, mm. made up of Army lawyers who took on the task to educate the fandom about laws and legal systems. Wow, how cool. Mm. Army Academy. 
account providing awesome. free tutoring services and advice for young people who need that type of support. Borahe Entertainment, created for ARMY creative artists and musicians. ARMY Help Center, who seek to provide an open ear for those who might need it for the sake of mental health. They Ooh. created resources within the fandom to help keep organized and informed. There was even a project called the Purple Ribbon Project to help protect the members from getting mobbed while traveling through airports around the world. Awesome. The efforts mm. were seen by the band and one of the members, V, even took pictures with the purple ribbons that were used. Awesome. Not nice. only do we help each other, but we also try to help the world around us. Mini size. Oh, another one. Maxi Loving this video. This video was totally not what I was expecting. No. Uh, this is amazing. One of I'm Army's loving this. Main charity fan bases, one in an army, created in 2018, is a collective that acts as a guide in global fundraising initiatives for fans to donate directly to charities. To give you an idea, here's the One and an Army's charity summary map from 2019. In 2019, more than 370 plus charity projects were created in different countries under ARMY. Wow. In 2020, yeah. when BTS's concert was cancelled in South Korea due to COVID-19, fans donated their concert ticket refunds to help with relief and prevention wow. efforts. In June wow. of 2020, moved by BTS's statement and show of support to the Black Lives Matter movement, Armies all over the world who had already been donating to BLM causes band together and matched BTS's 1 million donation in just one day. Wow. BTS never <laughs> fails to talk very Crazy. highly of ARMY and other artists have also added to the praise. The BTS ARMY. They're some of the most loyal, positive, and fun fans that you could ever mm -hmm. dream of. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say thank you to all of them. Uh, Chimmy Fallon. Loves you. <laughs> Our, the army are great. They're the most beautiful human beings. They're so awesome. Also, they're so poorly poorly represented in culture as these like fangirl, crazy, like mindless. And they're the oh. opposite. They're like intelligent, they're funny, they're tasteful, they're charitable. Like they wanted to say thank you to me for something and they organized something like charitable in my name. That's awesome. And they were like, hmm. they were like, what should we do for Halsey to say thank you? Like, should we stream her song? Should we this? And they're like, nah, she doesn't care about that stuff. Let's donate to a charity in her name. And they like, organized this whole thing and then like did this like charitable thing for me. And they were like, this is our way of saying thanks, Halsey. Like, thanks. And I was like, that's spectacular. Yeah. And that's part of crazy. me was like, why isn't everyone's fans doing this? Can you imagine if everyone's fans mm. thanked them by doing, by organizing charity in their name? By helping others? What a better place this world would be. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and I think yeah. ARMY is, is just, it's just good to people. They see when it's real. And I've been so grateful that that effort to just be respectful has been taken in such a in such a beautiful way because I know that there have been other instances where people haven't been as respectful, which is unfortunate. And uh, and, it's, and it's tough to see that because you're like, it's not that hard. Just just be conscious of who you're working with and give love to those who deserve it. But mm. I uh, I feel very grateful that they've been, they've just opened me with welcome arms and it's so good to me. So it's been amazing. And on top of that, they've developed this this glow. This is actually what you said before. Yeah, no, it is, but it's, yeah. it it I it's feel the same. We feel the same. We feel the same, and we felt it very early on already. Yeah, it is so clear. It's also it a is... big part of what what drew us in to do more BTS as definitely, well. Definitely, definitely. All it the was comments being... were so lovely and so yeah, amazing being, and um... respectful and and helpful. And... Yeah, yeah. The 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 love, the the respect, the um, positivity that we feel from you guys is amazing and it just yeah it made us an army not not only that of course because of course the, the, the guys in the message and the songs but it 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 really made it into a whole picture mm. that's what we love so, yeah. global army this bts army that is not just like geeked out fans like BTS donated a million bucks to Black Lives Matter and the army was like, yo, if they can do it, we can do it. And they came, like uh, fans who were already coming out of the pocket to support artists came out of pocket more to support charity. And this isn't the first mm -hmm. time they've done this. This BTS army charity gives a bunch to philanthropic causes. So as an artist, as a performer, hell man, we have fun. You know, we're doing good stuff. But if we can resonate through the television to you at home to come out of your pocket to give to a cause, like that's work, man. That's work and that's purpose. And that's like, that's, that's mm. changing the world. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that's impressive. That is yeah. impressive. It's true. Mm.
방탄 팬인 아미들이 라디오의 노래 좀 틀어달라 라고 요청했을 때 오케이 절대로 그러지 않았습니다 라고 하는 그 무시와 핍박을 정말 셀수 없이 당해야만 했었죠 그런데 팬들은 절대로 거기에 지지 않았습니다 어떤 무시와 편견이 닥치더라도 끝까지 왜? 이들의 음악은 정말 훌륭하기 때문에 사람들에게 사람들을 변화시킬 수 있는 힘이 있기 때문에 널리 전파해야만 한다라는 뭔가 역사적 사명 같은 걸 가지고 있었던 거예요. I hope that this video has given you valuable insight that armies value positivity and kindness while actively fighting against prejudice just as BTS does. So despite constant pushback from the music industry, the media and other fandoms often being discredited, bullied and stereotyped, BTS and ARMY continue to lift each other up. To learn more about BTS, hey. their personalities and more, please refer to these websites, apps and ARMY accounts to stay tuned. If you'd like to learn more about them through my videos, check out This is BTS, BTS's contribution to music, yeah. That and one. BTS hardships. We've seen that one as well. The awesome. Purple Hub is also still working on future projects such as a website and more informational videos. Stay tuned. Awesome. Mm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This was really, Great job. really, Thanks. really good. And we know because she always made her videos are always top quality, right? Mm. But this was really, really informative. I really... I knew a lot of things about ARMY being great and, and yeah. being supportive and being there and the charities. I knew that there were charities and I knew that... But this... But really I feel like more like up. impressed yeah, by what exactly. ARMY does and more yeah. connected. As yeah, well. a lot of new information for me as well in this yeah. video. Awesome! So well, many amazing projects. I love it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Thank you so much for suggesting this because we loved it. And um, yeah, like we said, if you want to help us out on Twitter, then, then please send us a message on Instagram. Makes sense, right? <laughs> but so we can uh, maybe work together or something because we, we need to figure out that whole Twitter work, network more. Like we just post our videos. Twitter and, network. Yeah, it's a whole thing. I know a little bit how it works, but I just don't, I'm not, I don't have the time to be on it constantly or something, but I, sh I should know more. And we're not really it. used to it because we don't really use it like personally. J no, exactly. So that's yeah. why, yeah. So uh, Instagram comes a lot more. Like natural, natural to yeah. Well. yeah. Thanks so much for watching this. Give the video a thumbs up, of course. And like we said, spread the message. So please tell your friends about spread our channel as well. And tell people about this video on XLS. Please give her credit for this because she is an amazing person and an amazing channel with amazing videos on BTS. Yes. So thanks for watching. See you very soon. Bye. Bye-bye.